I just worry, you know? Finances, I got a little boy, I'm worried about his whole financial future. People are already giving me crap. Like, you should have started saving for his college three years ago, Tom. That's 30 grand a year minimum. Like, 30 grand? All right. Well, he's going to be home college then. You know? <laughs> I'll be teaching him that money is not important. Uh, which isn't true, right? Money's really the most important thing, which is kind of, it's because uh, it's just made up, you know? It kinda, it's weird to me, you know? It's really, by every definition, money is our God, if you think about it. It's what we worship. It's what we work 40, 50 hours a week for. It's what we want more than anything. It's what we think will make us happy. We have altars built all over the world in the form of banks that we bail out, right? <laughs> I don't even know how it works, to be honest. I don't even get a check anymore. They just wire it to my account. I press some buttons, it spits it out to me. I don't know how that works. It's faith. Yeah. Yeah. How many of y'all haven't stood in front of the, uh, the altar of an ATM machine and prayed a little bit? Yeah. Dear God, please let there be $100 in my account. Don't let this guy behind me have a gun. I don't trust it, right? I used to not worry about it before my son. I didn't worry about it at all. Like national debt, I'd be like, we owe trillions of dollars, really? To who? Ourselves? Okay, well, if I owe myself $100, I'm like, you know what? Screw it. We good. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let that slide. But we don't owe that money to ourselves. National debts are owed to the national banks, right? Like the Federal Reserve Bank. And the weird thing about the Fed is it's actually a for-profit private company. It's weird to think that there's people out there like Oprah and Bill Gates that have a lot of money, and then there's this small group of people, they actually own the money. That's their product. Like, what, what a great business model you developed. <laughs> you own the money? <laughs> yeah, we just make it up out of nothing, and then we sell it to you at interest. <laughs> Can I do that? No, if you do it, it's counterfeiting. We throw you in the yeah. The very name Federal Reserve was a deception to make the American people think it was part of the government. The very people that are on the money were against the Federal Reserve System. Jefferson was against it, Jackson was against it, Lincoln was against it, Franklin was against it, and they're on the damn money. That's an insult to their legacies. That's like putting Mother Teresa's face on condoms and passing them out of Planned Parenthood. <laughs> yeah, the Mother Teresa condom. I died a virgin, so you don't have to. Whatever. <laughs> I just don't trust the banks. I think they're running things. I think we live in financial monarchies, you know? And, and, and here's the thing. If you're with a big bank, especially in the United States, I will no longer accept a check from you, right? I had a buddy of mine owed me $100. He writes me the check. I go into his bank to cash it. I need the money. I'm like, hey, I need to cash this, please. And she goes, okay, Mr. Simmons, we can cash this for you, but it's going to cost you $6 since you don't have an account here. I'm like, well, he has an account here, and he owes me $100, not $94. <laughs> you're actually making him commit fraud right now. She's just like, well, that's just our system. I need to get your fingerprint. I'm like, my fingerprint? You're the one committing the crime here. <laughs> your ability to create money out of thin air isn't business advantage enough. You got to steal our money $6 at a time. Let me ask you something. If that check was for $5, would I owe you a dollar? <laughs> like, yes, you would, sir. You're evil. That's what you are. <laughs> yeah, you want my fingerprints. You need to dust my ankles because that's where they are right now as you read my assets. <laughs> yeah, you're a banker. I'm trying not to go right to you on this. <laughs> My wife gives me crap. She's like, Tom, don't get mad at the banks. It doesn't do any good, right? And maybe she's right, but it's hard not to get mad at them when you read about them. Jesus was the most chill dude ever. The only time he ever used violence in his entire ministry was on the damn money changers at the temple. You know how evil you got to be to piss off Jesus? <laughs> yeah, you got to be a banker or a fig tree, and that is it. <laughs> 